lot of people have this perception of Texas and what it is. El Paso is, it's not Texas, it's really its, a, its own thing. And as soon as you go up in the mountains or you kind of go around the corner, it's like you feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, which is pretty cool. It does, you don't have to go far to feel like you're in nature. Sometimes you run into somebody way up high, and as a biker, I think, how did you do that? It has a major state park right in the middle of the city. It offers mountain biking, hiking, trail running, all within a 15 to 20 minute distance from anywhere in the city. I pedal up so that I can come down. So I'll typically I'll go out for like two hours or so and I'm kind of on the hunt for good downhill, so I'm gravity oriented riding. If you want to really challenge yourself, you can go higher and deeper. To, to be honest, when I, th when I signed up for the race, I was like, oh, 50 miles. I was like, I can handle it. And, I, and then in the back of my head, I was kind of thinking, oh, it's probably like 50 miles of like cruiser on like double track or something. But it wasn't. It's 50 miles of mostly single track with a lot of rock. But with that said, that there's so many areas around here that are, are really good for anyone riding bikes, like any level. Take me back to the mountain, I'm sure. It's, it's just a different environment, a, a wide open place for riding that, that most people in the country don't see that much. Man, the riding is awesome, the food is amazing, and the people are just great. Everyone here is so, so nice. Like, I think it's probably like the nicest town I've ever been to. I've got a lot of friends in the cycling community, so I can go out there and cheer my friends that are coming through and, and cheer on people that I've never met before when they're, when they're coming through. And, it, it's fun to see the winners, but I think it's more fun to see the ones who had an epic day. It was really cool seeing Katie out there on the trail going out and doing a 50 mile endurance style ride is not her thing or not what she does. Finishing something like the El Paso Puzzler is like, I don't know, it's crazy. Like, I felt so good when I finished, crossed the finish line. It's, it's really cool. I, I highly recommend that anybody come and check it out for yourself and you'll really understand why we all love it. For more information about El Paso and the Franklin Mountain State Park, check us out at visitelpaso.com.